Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is Rim World. Oh, the colony is an absolute disaster. A tragic trash heap of filth and bloodstains. I tell you what, this is, uh... Hard to look at. Hubbard has been doing the business, though. Look at her. Busy as a bee. So she's already cleaned up the main room, surprisingly. But this, blood, everywhere, dirt, filth inside the rooms, inside the jail cell especially. That's probably from back when Snipe was going berserk every five minutes. We've still got dead bodies laying around outside all over the place. I'm... I'm concerned. Uh, with those pirates popping up out here, I feel like we may need to build a second kill box, kill zone structure over here. Uh, kind of lead them in right in the center in this area. Um... Yeah, it feels like... It feels like it would take a lot of bricks to accomplish that but it's possible that's for sure it would just take some time this is from that elephant that we shot and was chasing Ilarion around right right before the infestation started man what a mess Try to get some of these switched off so that we can store up some power. Coley is on another binge. Uh, last time it was something besides Smoke Leaf. I can't remember right now. Yeah, uh, one of our. Um, Generators broke down, and then we had an electrical short over here that blew our power storage completely out. So I feel like it's necessary to turn off the turrets for a little while. Uh, they're the biggest power users. 350 watts. I think these are only 200. Maybe this is more. Nope, only 250. 150. So, yeah, the turrets are definitely uh, taking up the power that we need to store up in our batteries, just in case we have another breakdown. Blackjack is getting the... some business done. Shun is wandering as well, psychotic wandering. Uh, he went into some kind of um, catatonic state and was stuck in bed for a while there. So he and Coley, it's hilarious. Taicho is normally the closest to a mental break all the time. Booter. Drop that parka right now. It's a heat wave. It's a dang heat wave, and he's running around in a parka. But yeah, Taicho is almost always the one who is close to a mental break. Look at him. But he's rarely the one that actually goes on a mental break. Ah, I've been waiting all this time for that elephant to get preggers so that we can have more elephants. And now she's miscarried due to starvation because we didn't have this field planted in time. They are allowed to roam, if I remember correctly, this entire area down here. There's grass right here. I don't know if you can see that. But it even says down there... Oh, okay. It's not fully grown. It's 58%, 65%, 59%. But this should grow up fairly quickly. Some of it's on rich soil here, so it should be edible in a short amount of time. It looks strange to me. I don't remember that stuff being in the middle there. I don't know what that is. Just a different texture or something that I'm not used to. Oh, wow. 
That is a very large herd of Ibex. It says they'll attack if they're provoked. Though I don't really want to kill them. And we still have elephants down here that we could hunt. Or at least we did a second ago. Maybe they're gone now. There are a bunch of boomalopes here I wouldn't mind getting rid of. Before they get inside the colony or go crazy from some psychic pulse. Yeah, the ele elephants must have moved on already. I think I'm observant enough to see a whole herd of elephants walking around, but I could be wrong. Oh, Larion has gotten the first one. So they aren't worth a whole lot of meat, but it is something. You can see the power is getting stored up a little bit here. The place is looking a little cleaner. I don't think I need this many batteries, especially since they all get... <clears throat> they all get discharged. Oh man, he stands so close, too. Is that really necessary, buddy? Well, he did it. Alright, we should get some components here. That's good. Our animals are still kind of starving. Coley, are you trying to milk that cow? Hilarious. This elephant looked like it was kind of trapped back there. There's something weird with the animal safety zone? No. She shouldn't have been back there, but she was anyways. Maybe she saw some food and went for it. I won't fault her for that. What was planted here? Nothing. I think we'll switch that over to hay grass and then go ahead and expand the animal safety zone to include that area. Oh yeah, prison is nice and clean now. Fantastic. Ostrich could get butchered. Because we are looking a little bit low on food again. Are these deteriorated? Yeah. They just disappeared. That's a shame, but... Man. I didn't really want them... Filling up the stockpile. These are probably... Yeah. It's just fox skin, though. If it was hyperweave, I would be... All about bringing it back, but it's just fox skin. Not too worried. And maybe we should have taken out those Ibexes. I'm afraid if we did though, um, it would have been likely that they would have rotted over here instead of actually getting sold. Rotten potato plant. Oh, Shun is inspired. He will successfully recruit. Right, Shun. Go in and recruit Jenny then. Oh, no, don't strip her. Go in and recruit her. As a matter of fact, let's just go into wardening and say that nobody else wardens right now. So Shun will be the sole warden. Get in there, buddy. So Jenny will be on our team. Do we have all the beds made? We do. Success! Alright, Jenny. What can you do? That'll be good. Uh, here she is. She has a passion for doctoring, so she can do that. That'll be fine. Construction would be nice to get some help on. I know we have several people set for it, but John, of course, is working on more important things. Hilarion actually has a very high passion for cooking, but other people are already more skilled and seem to be working it out 
pretty easily. I could move it up to a two, that's probably fine. Uh, growing... And we could use a little bit of help on that. Maybe not her primary skill, but something that she can do. Okay. Yeah, I don't see... I don't notice anybody on the research table right now, so that's something we need to figure out. It looks like I haven't set up a research... Oh no, yeah. Long range mineral scanner is in progress, but nobody's researching it. Alright, we do have 508 granite blocks, so I could do something here uh, to set up a choke point. I feel like if I did, I would have to close this off as well. So, let's see about that. Go with the granite blocks. Oh, we can't build past this point, but that's a bit of a shame. Let's build it like this, then. And... Maybe put a door here, in the middle of the field. It's cut off this growing zone. Um, which is a bit sad, but... Nope. I just want... I just want this one... Growing zone. There we go. I guess I was clicking too fast. It was registering as a double click or something. Okay. I could go up this direction, right along the edge here. They cross right, right here. Okay. I think that's the answer. Oh, it takes so many, so many blocks. Madness. But that will feed them pretty much right into the turrets. Uh, they can't take cover around here. I don't think anybody has the range to take cover back here and shoot in. Um, I could be wrong about that, but I don't think that's the case. Um, I guess additionally, we could put down some sandbags here. Make sure that that's under a roofed zone. That should be fine. And then further sandbags. Nah, I don't think a sandbag there. I think maybe we do uh, alternating sandbags and uh, walls. Like that. Uh, we could probably also do that here. And honestly, that should be alternated. Alternatively. One there, one there, and then a sandbag between them. So that if someone's standing here, they can shoot out. And this will give them uh, full cover, more or less. They're all going to be under the roof, so they'll be shaded. They're in pretty close proximity, though, which is a little concerning. And if somebody's standing here... Somebody's standing here, and they're both shooting off of this side, towards this direction. Um, this guy's likely to friendly fire this guy. So that's something I'm going to have to be conscious of. Oh, we got a pirate merchant trade ship. That is fantastic. Harvesting a rice plant. Get down here and talk to the pirate merchants, please. I don't know if this counts as being in a stockpile, but we'll see. All right. Pirate merchants are the worst people to buy from, that's for sure. Um, oh, we could sell quite a few of these. Sell a couple of scyther blades and that almost cleans them out. Ugh. It's masterwork, but it's a dead man's armor. And so, uh, 
Nobody's gonna want to wear it. I wonder uh, where this is. Coley used to use this gun. Yeah, it doesn't look like these armor vests are registering. I may have to try to drag them inside before these guys go out of range. But we've just about sold all that they can buy anyways. Oh, here's that T. Induce a weak euphoric effect. Very easy to produce, but we wary of addiction. Though it must be highly addictive. 2% only. That doesn't seem very high. Pain times 90% means it decreases pain by 10%. Rest 10%. Tiredness is slowed down. Work to make 7. This is actually pretty awesome. It says it's easy to make, so maybe I will have to uh, get into that. This is probably going to be good, though. Ow. Jenny? Keep trying, girl. Building walls doesn't bother me if you mess some up. Hunter... Oh, Jenny is unarmed. What is her skill? Nothing. So she certainly needs to be a hunter. Yeah, here's the... The minigun that I was looking for. Oh, cough failed as well. We lost 52 herbal meds. Okay. Uh, she needs to be a number one hunter. Let's see, Ilarion was on it, he's up to skill 7. Coley. What is she armed with now? Oh, that's good. That's very good. Um, I might drop Ilarion down to a 2, and then we do need to go scan around and see if there are animals to be hunted. Because a skill 1 is just absolutely abysmal. And she's a skill zero. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here's a bunch of elephants, too. We'll get them hunted as well. We can. Is she slow or blind? Or Yeah, she's blind and slow. I forgot about that until just now. Cutting stone blocks, that's good. Wooter's making meds, that's excellent. Um, instead though, would you haul these corpses, please? Hi, Joe. Nope, it's Jenny. What's your problem? Greedy for impressive bedroom, I forgot about that. Okay, so we gotta find out which bedroom is the best. We've got decent, dull, somewhat impressive, very impressive. Oh, that's the hospital. <laughs> Awful. Decent, somewhat impressive, somewhat impressive, somewhat impressive. <clears throat> so, between the somewhat impressives, we've got Hubbard's room as the best right now, with the 79. And that's fully cleaned up, right? Yeah, that's totally cleaned up. So Hubbard and Ginny might have to switch rooms then. We turn off this overlay here. So if I set this owner to Hubbard. Set this one to Ginny. Then we'll be all good. Has that solved that problem? Yes. Why is she wearing a dead man's power armor helmet? I wonder. Okay, the cargo pods haven't even landed yet, but the pirates are visible. 
Of course, they're coming in where we haven't completed the uh, defenses yet. Everybody's probably tired by now. Um, Chun, Taicho, and Wooter all need to stay asleep. Akath, Blackjack, Hilarion, Coley, you guys need to get up and get going. Hilarion, you're going to be dropped in right there. Maybe right here to start out with. Uh, let's see. Akath, you're so slow. I think I will hide you behind these so that you can get inside pretty quickly. Blackjack, you've got a shotgun. Go ahead and hide in front of the prisoner place. You might be inside, actually. And if they start coming through here, you can pop out and shoot them. Um, Coley, you have an assault rifle. Hide behind these sandbags, I'd say. Um, right there is probably fine. And that means, Coley, I would rather have you behind this junk. They might be coming down from the top here, so Blackjack up here may be better. Hilarion, you might want to hide behind this tree. Might want to hide behind this tree. Coley's got a pretty long way to go before she gets there. Koth, I'm going to bring you up uh, to this position. Okay, Blackjack, I think this calls for emergency moves. Uh, Jenny. I don't know if it makes sense to try to run you that far away. So Blackjack, go ahead and trade places with her here. Oh no, Hilarion is down. Why? Why are these animals here? That really annoys me. That really annoys me that it does that. But whatever. We'll see what happens. I feel like I should have a few more folks around cleaning sand. What are these guys doing? A shiv? Grenades? Yeah, what in the world could they possibly be doing up here? That's really confusing. Is this going to be a permanent... This looks like a permanent injury to me. Is his movement going to be permanently 5% now? Because of his spine? Let's see if we can get caught a little bit closer. Man. 
That didn't go too badly. We didn't we didn't down anybody either. So they're all they're all dead. Very, very dead. Yeah, I'm I'm very concerned about Ilarion's condition now. If he's at a permanent five percent movement, that's gonna be pretty tragic. Right leg burnt off, Coley? When did that happen? Hubbard, are you a good medic? Not really. Seven. No danger. Nineteen hours. Ah, Sean doesn't have a, a chair, so he has to go into Jenny's room to eat food. Blackjack was eating in Tai Cho's room. Alright, Blackjack. Uh, and to Coley, then. He's gonna use real medicine. That's fine. She's using real medicine. Fine. If that... Man, I hope this isn't a permanent injury. Man, I hope that isn't a permanent injury. <laughs> I can't even stress that enough. What in the world? Because I don't... There's nothing we can do about spinal injuries. For whatever reason. She took two medicines, right? So she's got to be able to treat this, and hopefully it will get better. I'm pretty sure that's what she's treating now. Okay. 83% treatment. Coley got a pretty good... Pretty good treatment there, too. Ah, uh, Blackjack's got two bionics, and I'm pretty sure he's a prosophobe, he is. So that's... Okay, good, good, good. He's no longer incapable of walking, that's good. Efficiency 20% for his spine. So that, that should be healing. He should be okay in the long run. Let's haul this back in. As a matter of fact, I would like to get all of the weapons in, if we can't. Not so much the frag grenades. There's a normal bolt action there. Uh, Hubbard, relaxing socially. It's shoddy, but it's gonna be worth money. Pump shotgun, poor. Hauling herbal medicine. Okay, <laughs> that was a little bit weird, but that's fine. Um, <clears throat> yeah, go ahead and hold those in. Is someone... Yeah, Hubbard is grabbing that. Ugh. They must have cut down a tree when they were building this wall. Alright, well I think I'm going to have to leave it there. It looks like Ilarion is going to heal up. Yeah. His spine is 5 instead of 4, efficiency 25 instead of 20, so he should end up being okay in the long run. It was very scary. But if you want to catch the next episode, be sure to subscribe. Consider supporting my channel through the Patreon link down in the video description. And feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in. I thank you so much for all the time you spend in my channel, and I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.